I'm Ed Dr. Raymond and I'm the CEO of Face of Entertainment. Uh, Face of Entertainment is actually a, an upcoming, uh, what I say, a TV uh, programming station where we get to basically do entertainment content and uh, well, entertainment news basically. But once in a while we get to cover reports like maybe there's a major issue in the nation during the time of elections, we go out and we cover, we do analytical reporting covering news relating to issues that concerns national development and national transformation and most of this content we upload to to as an eyewitness reporter to CNN, Travel Zero and all the rest of other uh, stations like that, international global media basically. But what we are trying to do here right now is uh, it's, uh, it's another call for the nation because this is Bring Our Girls Back initiative is a, is a call that everybody cannot really, really ignore of because covering just entertainment news right now is not just the issue. There is a permanent priority issue that's affecting everybody in this country that is affecting even food supply. If you go to the market, if you don't visit the market, try to visit the market, you'll find that look, a lot of things are, are affected. Things that are coming from the north are affected because a lot of food food prices look at most especially the ones that are coming from the north are on the skyrocket you know the uh, the the pellet the, the tomatoes uh beans tomatoes and the uh, onions carrots and all the rest of all those things they're on the increase because people can't go to market people can't go to the farm anymore people you know, the the food business is in the decline so if you look at it so oh it's happening in the north it doesn't really concern you in the south it does concern you in the south our national security is at stake right now because of uh, right now this whole entire thing is happening and is being funded by some people just to destabilize and create chaos in the nation at large. It's affecting security, it's affecting food chains, affecting the way money is being circulated all over the nation. So we as a people, as an organization, we decided to do this initiative. So many people have been doing the initiative, Bring Our Girls Back initiative, but we want to do it in a way where everybody gets to have their own personal touch, get to say their own words the way they want to say it. Uh, means that we want to do a production that says Bring Our Girls Back initiative, where we get to interview people and they get to just say Bring Our Girls Back in their own ways, in their own thoughts, in their own ways they want to say it. We want to give everybody a voice to be able to make an appeal to these so-called people that are funding the Boko Haram. The Boko Haram cannot carry arms by themselves without funding. It takes a lot of money to be able to fund stuff like this. It takes logistics, it takes security, it takes paying some people even in high places to make sure that look to keep their hideout, hideout, to keep their hideout a secret. And all these things does not come cheap. They are being funded by international organizations, they are being funded by some people, some keynote people that I can't mention their name because I've done a lot of extensive research too on my own and I've discovered all these things and all in the question of destabilizing the present government at hand, destabilizing the country so the country doesn't have an option but to call for some certain kind of aid from some certain kind of people. I do not know if it's those people that are funding this particular thing right now but all I know is this is that a, a, a borrower is a slave to the lender. So if I come in and I ask you for aid, I have a right over your, your country policy, I have a right over some certain kind of policies that goes on in your country because of why I'm offering you some certain level of aid. But when we want to beg these people as a country, as a people, as a church, as an organization to just let us be, let us leave our country, let us manage our crisis the way it is, let us manage ourselves. We are not terrorists in our country. We are people that work. Nigerians are people that work for their money and they're people that hustle. We are unhappy people. Even in our suffering, our crime, we are still happy. We do not kill ourselves because of we are hungry. We have come through a lot as Nigerians and we still survive. We survived the Biafran War and we're still together. We survived so many things. We survived June 12th. We survived so many things as a country and we are still surviving as a country today. So this is not going to be the issue that is going to tear us apart as a country. But rather, let us use this to unite the country together. Please support this initiative. Bring our Girls Back Initiative production by Face of Entertainment. We want to come to your church and interview people. Just grant us the audience. Grant us the platform to just do this. 
Thank you very much. God bless you.